sesame. The thief said, and the cave door opened. They went in, got a bundle of treasure, came out and said, close sesame. And they left. They didn't know that a poor old cutter was sitting in the woods there. And he came out and repeated the same words. He said, open sesame. And the cave door opened. The woodcutter went inside and came out with a bundle of treasure and went home rich. Ring any bells. This is one of the most famous stories we've ever heard from the Arabian Nights, Ali Baba and the 40 Thieves. Well, this is also known in India as Ali Baba or Charles Chor, with open sesame being replaced by Kulja Simsim. Be it Ali Baba, Aladdin, Hansel and Gretel, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, or even Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Jon Snow going through the door to see the wildlings, or even Elsa's castle in Frozen. Everywhere, there is a metaphor of a door opening to lead the character into opportunities and adventures. Every fable, every film that deals with characters on a quest have the door opening and leading to different kinds of opportunities. People who go through these doors come out stronger and better in some way. Now, this is my question to you today. Are you a window opener or a door knocker? Now, what do I mean by this? The point is, are successful people truly successful because they are lucky? Or is it because they go around knocking on different doors and opportunities, just like the characters from our fables and our films? This is something that I want to discuss a little bit more today. I came across the phrase of window opener and door knocker in a podcast called My First Million. This is hosted by Shan Puri and Sam Pair, and their first guest was Ariana Simpson, who was a Facebook employee. She gave up almost 50% of her net worth to invest in Bitcoin in 2014. She took a huge bet, and boy, did it pay off. Because today, she is a millionaire, and she goes around the world as a renowned expert in cryptocurrency. The point that the podcast made was that there are two kinds of people among us, window openers and door knockers. Now, who are window openers? Well, window openers are people who are like Sharma Ji Ka Beta or Beti, just like me. Window openers like everything to be planned and certain. They want everything in advance. They will open their window, but if they see the weather is not sunny and perfect, if there is a single cloud in the sky, they're not going to open their window after that. They will not take any risks, except when they know that it is going to pay off. Well, this is like having a 10-year plan in advance today. Now, I used to be a proud Sharma Ji Ki Beti, a window opener for most of my life. I loved English literature, I studied it, and I studied some more, became a lecturer, I loved being a teacher and became an academic. I started pursuing my PhD as well. Everything on the straight path and everything that was on a safe path for me. No open sesame for me, unless it meant a box of spices in my kitchen. I loved security and planning so much that even for my wedding invite, I actually sent a calendar invite to my fiance saying, marry Anisha on 4th Feb 2020? Yes? No? Maybe? Thankfully, he said yes. So what changed me from being a resolute window opener to a door knocker? Well, there were two turning points in my story. The first, in 2011, when I saw the ad for the Teach for India Fellowship, and 2015, when I walked into the first Toastmasters International Club. But before I go on with that, what does the phrase door knocker even mean? According to the podcast that I discussed earlier, being a door knocker means someone who is willing to take risks, who is willing to take up the opportunities around them, to knock on several doors, open them and see what's behind them, and then engage with it. If it works out for them, great. If it doesn't, they are not scared to go and knock on another door. Well, 
This is how I became a reluctant door knocker. I knew that to go for the Teach for India Fellowship in 2011, I would have to give up my dreams of becoming a tenured professor. And I even had to quit my PhD. It was like the location on the Google map of my life absolutely changed. But something made me want to go for it. There was one very important thing that I lost in the process though, being my mother's favorite child. She just couldn't understand why I would give up my PhD and go for a fellowship. But then, when I went for the Teach for India Fellowship, I got a huge network of global movers and shapers. I actually learned a lot about Indian education and what were the problems with education. I learned what can be the solutions and a lot about leadership that can enable it. After that, when I walked into Toastmasters International in 2015, an introvert like me found her voice, found her voice to tell her story. This was very important for me. Toastmasters International gave me an international network of public speakers, coaches, trainers, and communication specialists. And they mentored me into a corporate career, a pivot into communications in the corporate world. And that is how I left Calcutta and I moved to Bangalore a couple of years back to pursue my dream of being in corporate communications and in training. Now, you may say, that's fine, it worked out for you, but why should we take the risk? What is the point of being a door knocker when I don't know what's on the other side of the door? Why not follow the dots and go on a straight line, work very hard, study something and keep studying, get better at our jobs and then just have a good time at it. Well, this is not the world that we used to live in a lot earlier. Given the pandemic, given uh, the situation that we have gone through with recessions, we don't live in an unemployment proof world every step, there is going to be some challenge that is thrown at you for which you are not prepared. We have seen many people lose jobs, their businesses, and even their careers at the snap of a finger. Now, if you really want to be unemployment proof and recession proof, this is the way to be. Start door knocking. You don't know which path can give you the leverage to build your personal brand, your professional brand, or even your career or a business. Now, if you don't believe me, I'd really like to talk to you about some of the people whom I admire. Lily Singh, creator of Superwoman. Greta Thunberg, environmental activist. Trevor Noah, stand-up comic and host of The Daily Show. Nasir Sen of Nas Daily, who creates daily videos for over five, six years now, traveling around the world. All of these people started off with a side project, a hustle, a door knocking to see what might happen if they chose to do something different, if they chose to make use of their resources and skills to try something new. And they did it. They built a legacy, they built a career, they built a business, and they built a personal and professional brand that is known globally. That is the power of door knocking. Now, when I started off being a reluctant door knocker, it gave me the strength to try out new opportunities and take those managed risks. When I started becoming a communications trainer a few years back, uh, I also started going into various other door knocking opportunities. I sort of forced myself to get into more door knocking opportunities, like creating content on my YouTube channel, Ask Annie, like repurposing a lot of the content for LinkedIn's in, uh, content and for LinkedIn's audience. Well, for all of these things, I got my reward in an amazing way when I was listed on LinkedIn Top Voice, one of the top content creators and influencers on LinkedIn India's platform in 2017 and 18. One of my articles went viral with over two lakh views. This is something I had not dreamed of in my wildest dreams. And it had not happened for me by being a window opener. It had happened for me by being a door knocker. 
Another step on this happened when Toastmasters International magazine picked up my story of being a LinkedIn influencer from India. They published the story and voila, members from over 144 countries had got to read my story. I could never have hoped to reach so many people had I not taken this one small chance which led to many other chances. This is what I want for you. I want you to go through the process of door knocking, to take that managed risk, and yes, get that support from family, from friends, from mentors, from podcasts and books, and learn and take that chance again and again. Yes, accept when you are failing. Every door is not meant for everyone. So accept when that failure comes and move on. That's very important in the path of door knocking. Have friends and family with whom you can discuss what is it that you are going through, how you are feeling, why you are doing this. And lastly, have mentors who can guide you and give you honest feedback. People who have done it before you and who can help you make the road smoother. Another last thing that helped me was having a fixed source of income on the side. It does not help to have financial worries when you are going door knocking. So keep it as a side hustle, but keep your day job. I hope this inspires you to start your journey of door knocking today. And I leave you with a few lines from my favorite song by Lee Ann Womack. I hope you dance. I hope you still feel small beside the ocean. Whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens. I hope you dance when you get the choice to sit it out or dance. I hope you dance. Thank you.